Now, most financial advisors will tell you to invest consistently and don't move your money around and don't try to time the market. Now, I don't entirely disagree with that, but there are two reasons that they tell you to do this. The first is that they're not traders themselves. They have probably zero experience managing investments. They're just really good salespeople. I made a few videos on this, but basically those people are just salespeople. Once you actually invest with them, they ship the money off to somebody else who actually manages it, and then they just follow up with you every now and then to make sure you're happy with your investments. The second reason they tell you to just consistently invest and never touch your money is because there's a term for clients like that. Unfortunately, my industry has a term for clients that don't ever check their accounts. They just keep investing and they wait until they're retired. The term is called sticky. It means that you don't move your money around. You're a sticky client and you will probably never leave the company. If they can convince you to just keep investing and never move your money, then they just make more and more off of you and you get put into that sticky column. Now for the most part, I agree. You gotta be in the markets to win. But at Jazz Wealth, we don't care if you wanna move some money on the sidelines. It doesn't change the way we make money and we certainly won't stop doing our best for you. So right now there's quite a few people that are deciding to take some money out of the markets and leave it on the sidelines. Nothing wrong with that. Why would you wanna take money out of the markets or some of it and leave it on the sidelines for better prices right now? Well, here's a graph of the Dow Jones Industrial Average since 2007. Now I use the Dow Jones because it's the most popular index out there and everybody's pretty much heard of the Dow Jones. Since 2008, the markets have bottomed and have been straight up ever since, nonstop, almost nine years straight up. Now there's also a frequent study that's published about investor sentiment. And investor sentiment right now is at its highest levels since 1987, right before the markets crashed. Now I'm not saying that the markets are gonna collapse, but with nine years straight up, the odds are now against you that the markets will go higher versus lower. So if you're a client of mine, we're having that conversation right now. Let's take some money out of the market, not all of it. Let's take a little money out of the market Little by little, as the market moves higher, let's take more and more and get some money ready for when the markets become cheap again. I don't know when that's gonna happen, but I promise you they will become cheap and we're gonna be ready to buy more. Now statistically, odds are that you're only gonna see another rally like this one more time in your lifetime if you're 35 or under. So what are you doing holding on through all of this? Shouldn't we be selling a little bit? Now, if you're not a client of mine, give me a call anyways. Let's talk about the investments that you have. No strings attached. You can hang up on me anytime, I promise. But we gotta at least have the conversation about what you should lock in and what you should let go for even more move. Now, if you would like me to manage your retirement account, I would love to work with you. Feel free to go to jazzwealth.com. Go to the top, click invest now, and I will personally follow up with you to open or transfer your account from wherever it's at now. If you just wanna chat, you have more questions, that's cool too. Send me an email anytime you like. Leave a comment to this video, or you can also call me directly at... <laughs>